with that technical malfunction there. Um, so um, where we left off was um, the stressors on your wallet from getting your um, passport, your health passport and everything together. Um, and I'm hearing you have a lot of anxiety with your school and everything. Um, I, I see that it's something that's a challenge for you and it's putting a lot of stress on you. Um, let's look at your anxiety on a scale of 1 to 10. What would you say it's at right now? Uh, my anxiety level would probably be up around a 7 or an 8 uh, just because I'm not um, confident in, in the schoolwork that I, I've been mm -hmm. doing. That's um, pretty high, eh? Yeah, it, it's definitely stressful. Um, in, in terms of me being like a, a scale of one to ten for my schoolwork and how happy I am with that, I mean that's that's like as low as a three or a four. Right. Just because like I'm not getting the marks that I was getting first semester. Um, uh, I don't feel like I deserve the marks that I was getting first semester. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting in the, the. I don't feel like I'm putting in the same amount of effort and time to to getting everything done. Um, but with that and, and like I said with with the doctor stuff and whatnot and my doctor charging me as much as he does to get things done and me being in school and not working right now um, because me having a job with school and a daughter um, would be a lot for for an employer to work around I so yeah. I'm, I'm hesitant to go out and apply for jobs because I don't want somebody to offer me a good job and maybe like I can't take it because you know you won't be yeah. work every weekend whereas I have my daughter every other weekend you know what I mean I know exactly how you feel. I've been going through the same thing, actually. I was fortunate enough to find an employer um, that will work around my schedule. Yeah. Um, but it's, I'd tell you right now, it's really difficult oh, finding yeah. one. Um, what, what employer did you, uh, you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I, I'm starting, actually, Owl's Lawn Care. Oh, all right. Yeah, so I'll be cutting grass for a living for a bit. I, I, know, I know a guy who works at Owl's Lawn oh, Care. Yeah. I'll give him a call and see if he can hook up a job. <laughs> it, I, it, I know there are some openings, so that's yeah. maybe something you can give it a try. Job off resume that um, today. But I'm telling you, it really is hard to uh, find something, and I just found that persistence and yeah. getting myself out there and applying to as much as I can and being straight up with my potential employers yeah. on how I um, my schedule and that it needs to be worked around. Yeah. Um, that's the only way I found that worked for me. Yeah, I definitely have to try that. Um, but my, my main goal right now is just to get my, my school done. Like I'm right. afraid, I'm actually afraid of failing a couple of classes this semester, which last semester wasn't even didn't even cross my mind. Like Things I, I are getting hear, a little tight this time. Yeah, right? like I would hear people last semester talk about how they had like you know, a 45, a 55, a 60 in classes, and I was just wondering how you could have such a bad mark, but I mean, that's me this semester, I mean, yeah. now, now the shoe's on the other foot, and I kind of see how some people can get overwhelmed with life, do you, school. Do you find it's a bit like quicksand, maybe, yeah. like, um, you try and do one move, and it's actually just making you struggle even more, exactly. right? Like, I, I'm trying to get one thing done, but it's like I'm taking one step forward and two steps backwards the entire Good song. Time. Good song. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So...